Now, as you have understood that how to use SQL queries in a query editor, now is the time to use our SQL queries into Apex. And here's a simple example that will explain you how we can do that. So, I mean, again, uh, in query editor, we like wrote it down like find and then in curly braces, the text that you want to search. So instead of curly braces, we are going to use single quotes. But if you'll write down uh, find and single quotes inside the square brackets. So let me explain it to you. We used to write down SQL queries in Apex inside square brackets. The same we need to do with SOSL queries. So if you want to write down an SQL SOSL query inside an Apex class, you're going to write it down into square brackets. And inside square brackets, you, uh, you'll write down find and then whatever text you want to search. So if we'll write it down like this, um, it will not work. It will give an error. Why? Because in Apex, if you're writing down SOSL query, you need to specify that on which object you want to search this particular text. So that means we need to specify, it is mandatory to specify returning keyword with the objects in which we want to search that particular text. So here it is. Find Volkswagen returning account comma contact. So this is a simple SOSL query which will search Volkswagen, Volkswagen uh, text inside account uh, object as well as contact object. And this will return the result in this L1 variable. So SQL queries used to return different types of, uh, th like they used to return different return types. Uh, the normal one was list of S object. But what about SOSL query? Be because it might return or it may return different lists of different S objects. So the return type of SOSL query is list of list of S object. Let me repeat. The return type of SOSL queries is list of list of S objects. Let me explain it to you. It's a very important question for your interviews as well, for your certification as well, for everything. Let me explain it to you how it basically works. Uh, like it returns a list of list of S object. So imagine this is that list of list of S object and this includes different different lists. So imagine like you've uh, searched a text uh, that is there in opportunity object as well, account object as well, contact object as well. So in that case, SOSL query will return all the three lists, uh, which will like one list will include all the opportunity records which has that particular text. Uh, one list will include all the account records which has that particular text. Text, and uh, one list will uh, will include all the contact records which have that particular text. So imagine this is like we have got two account records. So this is the list which has account records, and this is assigned to this index. Uh, like uh, this is the list which has opportunity records in it and this is assigned to the first index and the middle one is the contact one so this list includes the, all the contact records which has that particular text so the return type of SOSL query is list of list of S object and inside these elements like over here inside these elements over here over here we have uh, like one single account S object another single uh, another account as object over here we have contact as object over here, here we have contact as object over here we have another contact as object similarly opportunity as object opportunity as object opportunity as object opportunity as object and opportunity as object so this is how it is uh, so this is how basically your uh, SOSL query in apex works and like now you've got the list of list of s object you can iterate it to the way you want uh, you just need to iterate first like you first need to get the uh, inner lists or the lists that are there inside that list of lists and uh, just iterate them uh, using a for loop and get the values out of it or do whatever you want to do with that particular record with those particular records that you've got as a result from the SOSL query. Let's move on. Uh, we have uh, the next uh, thing as returning return specify, specified fields. So we want specific fields as a result uh, from that uh, like SOSL query. So in that case, as we have discussed earlier as well, we can specify the fields which you want in the result inside the parenthesis after the name of that uh, particular object in Salesforce. So in here, if you can see, find Volkswagen. This is the particular query. Find Volkswagen 
returning account and inside account i have uh, specified the name of the fields which i want in the result that is name and number of employees then comma contact uh, in the bracket i have specified name comma phone so i want these two fields in the result uh, like in the in the account as object which will be returned by this sosl query and i want these two fields name and phone uh, in the contact records which will be returned by this sosl query as an as object so i can do it like this now let's talk about that how uh, like okay so this l2 is again a list of list of s object if you can see so this is a list of list of s object and why s object why only s object because s object is uh, like is the parent of every object or every s object that we have in uh, salesforce so accounts parent is also s object contacts parent is also s object any custom objects parent is also s object so parent can refer uh, or parents reference variable can refer to the objects or uh, of the child uh, yeah of the child class or of the child s object so this is how basically it is working over here now uh, to iterate or to access the values which are returned by this uh, sosl query how like how we can get that so look uh, over here i've used this array notation l2 uh, inside the bracket i've written down zero so this will return all the account records that i've got from this sosl query and uh, if i want to contact records then i'll write down l21 how i am so sure that in l20 it will return me the account records and in l21 i'm uh, it's going to return me uh, contact records because the order which i have specified in this returning defines that uh, the first index will have which type of uh, like which type of list and the second uh, like index of that list of list of s object will have which type of list so over here first i have specified account so that means on the first index or on the zeroth index i'm going to have uh, a list of account and after comma i have specified contact so which will speci which basically specifies that uh, which record i'm going to have or yeah which uh, basically which records i'm going to have uh, after or uh, like or on to the first index or on to the second index of that particular list of list of s objects that and that is contact in our case over here and now i need to iterate it i'm just going to use a for loop and uh, with this for loop i'm going to just write down account a acc list a dot name a dot number of employees because this these are the fields that i've got as a result from that ssl query and with when it comes to contact I, i'm going to just i'm just going to write down contact c uh, colon con list and inside it i'm going to write down system dot debug c dot name and c dot phone and that's it about ssl queries